MTP number 26. Welcome back. So today we have three like short questions. So I'll address all three. Um, first one, Bill, and I will not use your last name because when I read it, you'll understand. Um, I have a small penis, a little over five inches stretched length uh, from pubic bone. However, when flaccid, it retracts. I have two questions. Am I a candidate for an implant? And are there more instances of post-operative long-term pain or, or other difficulties in patients that are on the small side? So first thing, five inches is very close to average. 5.5 uh, is average. So you don't have a small penis. Now, we do realize that if you have a narrow penis and you try to put a big cylinder in that penis, you can have uh, uh, some significant pain postoperatively, but that goes away as you do your rehab. And if you look at the last MTP, you'll find out how to do your rehab. So yes, you're a candidate. No, you don't have a small penis because 5.5 is average. And um, even if you have a narrow penis, the, the, both implant companies have a, the proper implant for that penis so you don't have too much pain postoperatively. Um, the next comes from Du Juan, Du Juan, and he says, I'm 45, had a bad reaction to Trimex and developed priapism. He had a shunt after the priapism. And he's asking me about uh, shockwave therapy and PRP and does it work? Now, the SMS has specifically stated that these are both experimental treatments. Shockwave worries me because it's microtrauma and microtrauma might lead to Peronis, which is scarring. So I, I'm not very interested in the shockwave. PRP, we do have in our office and we use it kind of as a bridge. Uh, the literature's scant on this uh, topic. If you have the money and, you're, and you wanna like make sure that uh, you're absolutely ready for a penile implant, you can try the PRP. Uh, we did some of the very first stem cell uh, treatments and we found a, a slight difference in the uh, duplex studies afterwards, the ultrasound studies of the penis. But the jury is still out for both of those uh, um, treatment processes and realize that there's money involved, right? So uh, some people might say that it absolutely works. I, I see nothing wrong with trying one if you have the resources. Um, although, I, as I already said, I'm a little worried about the uh, shockwave therapy. And then finally, a uh, great question, Jacob. Are there any special considerations for people with hypospadias uh, if they undergo a penile prosthesis? Hypospadias is a uh, genetic anomaly of the penis where the, the, the hole, the meatus, is uh, uh, further up along the penis. Uh, if the implant is done by a dedicated implanter, there should be no difference whatsoever in, in your final result. So just find the right dedicated implanter and you should do well. So three great questions and uh, I'll see you next week. Have a good one. And if you voted, I hope you voted. See ya.